guys welcome back to my channel in today's video I figured I'll just put with some new makeup products that I had in my collection I have a mixture of some new products and some old products to kind of plug in here and there but I had so much fun filming this video and I hope you guys enjoyed today's look I think it turned out pretty good um, I do have some new favorites like always so make sure you guys subscribe to my channel don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up and let's get started with the video Alright you guys, so starting off, I do have a new eyeshadow primer. It's going to be by Believe Beauty. It's going to be the Lock It In Eyeshadow Primer. I did get this at the Dollar General. It's going to be a new launch product for them. And the color that I have mine in is going to be Universal. So they had Universal and they also had another color that was new to their launch. So I did opt for this one instead. So, packaging is really nice and sleek. And let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. Alright, so you do get a doe foot applicator. And let's prime my eyes. It looks just like my Broadway color eyeshadow primer, that, that same like taupey kind of color. So I'm very excited to see how it's going to work with my eyeshadow. And that did blend out really easily, so that's really good. So for my eyeshadow palette, I'm going to use the Profusion Cosmetic Ruby Eyeshadow Palette. I did feature this eyeshadow palette in my recent drugstore haul. I will have it linked if you guys haven't checked that haul out. But I told you guys I really wanted to use this eyeshadow palette first because it definitely caught my attention in terms of the color scheme and just something that's different in my actual makeup collection. So starting off, I'm going to take the color called Fireball. It's going to be this color right here. And I just apply that to my crease. And you do get kickback with this eyeshadow palette. So if you guys know if that bothers you, keep that in mind. But I always feel like whenever you get kickback, the shadows are typically always very pigmented as you guys can see. Super pigmented. So that's why it never really bothers me that much. Alright, so going back into the palette, I'm going to take the color called Ruby. It's going to be this really pretty color right here. And just apply that like right above where I placed Fireball. And I'm still going to use the same blending brush from earlier. But I am going to go super light handed with this color. Alright, and then going into the lid, I'm going to take this really pretty gold color right here, which is called Dazzle, and just apply that to my lid. Alright, so the gold color is really pigmented on its own, however, I am getting fallout on my face. So if you're the kind of person who likes to do like your base first, keep that in mind, I am getting fallout on my face. However, I am going to go ahead and wet my brush. I do have the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Set and Spray. It is a new product from that line as well. So I'm just going to take this and just spray my brush. All 
All right, going back into the palette, I'm going to take the color Call Rogue. It's going to be that very like vibrant, bright color and just apply that to my outer V. All right, and then going back into the palette, I'm going to take that color called Auburn, which is going to be this dark brown color, and just apply it to my outer V as well. Again, there is a lot, like a lot of fallout with this palette, so if that's going to bother you, do not say, I didn't tell you, but there is a lot of kickback with this palette. So just please keep that in mind if that bothers you. All right, I'm just gonna pump the brakes on the eyes temporarily. However, moving on into the face, I do have a new face primer. It's going to be the Hard Candy Sheer Envy Hydrating Primer. It says 12 hour makeup grip, plumps, moisturize, and perfect. So again, it's gonna be a hydrating primer. I did find this at Walmart and they had other face primers as well for like, if you have oily skin, if you want to like, or uh, if you want to like have like poor minimizing different things like that so just pick what works best what you're trying to target so you guys know i do have dry skin so i did get the hydrating primer and let's see Ooh, so it's going to be like a gel like consistency i like that you guys know i love those kind of products that's that gel like watery consistency love those kind of products for my skin so the only things you guys didn't see me do was apply my face primer because my camera had cut off on me but it did apply really nicely it felt really hydrated and it doesn't feel sticky at all which i do appreciate it started to feel that way but eventually with me just sitting here waiting for my camera to cool down it actually feels pretty good so i do like this primer thus far so i'm going to go ahead and apply my foundation and concealer it's just going to be the clinique even better foundation i have mine in the color called ginger number 12 and then for my concealer i do have the color pop pretty fresh creamy concealer in the color called medium dark so i'm just going to apply these two products because they're not new products so just going to speed through this part And if you guys are wondering, I do have on press on nails. I actually purchased the set from a Amazon kit. Um, it's like clear press on nails and I just painted the nail this purple color. It's from um, LA Colors. It's part of their gel nail collection, but I just painted the nails after I applied the set. So yeah, this is my new press on nails. You guys know I love press on nails. So if you're wondering, they are from Amazon. I will have it. Actually, it's not even available on Amazon anymore, but I will just have it linked. That way you guys can probably find like similar styles to these and I just painted them. So that's pretty much it.
Also, you guys, I did purchase a new sponge from Believe Beauty. It's going to be this sponge right here. I forgot that I purchased it because I wanted to use it in today's video, but I forgot about it. So Believe Beauty do have a new sponge, which looks really cool. Like it has this top right here that looks like it'll be perfect for concealer under your eyes. So maybe in the next video, I'll just use this one. But yeah, they do have a new sponge. So just letting you guys know. And if you guys are wondering about that right back there, that actually belongs in my dining room, but I could not stand that empty white space that was back there in my videos. It was driving me crazy. So until everything is open back up, I'm just kind of like testing this right here because ultimately I may put like a plant back there just to eat that dead space. So I'm just trying to like test it out to see if it's a distraction or to see if it looks good or just again I'm just trying to test it out to see what I think about it so when um, the stores are open back up I can just buy a cute like plant to go back there so if you're wondering that's just temporarily so I can see how I like it and let me know down below if you guys like it does it make the video look better is it distracting just let me know what you guys think. Should I just leave the wall back there be empty and plain? Just let me know. So right now it's just a temporary thing to see what I like. And again, ultimately it's going to be like a some kind of granary is what I have in mind. So moving on into my setting powder. It's actually going to be a new setting powder. I got this at Sephora as a point perk. So it's going to be the Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. I've had this in my collection for God knows how long and I figured I'll just pull it out because I am using new uh, face products. So it's going to be the Set and Hydra Mist Set and Powder. Here is what it looks like if you guys can see it. I'm just going to use it to set under my eyes. I heard that this powder is really good if you have dry skin. So I'm hoping I like it. Let's see. Okay, so so far it, it looks okay. It's not really, it's not blowing me away. It just looks like it just set my makeup, but it doesn't look like it blurred under my eyes or anything crazy like that. So it's just, it's okay as of right now. So moving on into my finishing powder. I do have the L finishing powder. I did feature this in my uh, full face of Elf that I just filmed for you guys. I have it in the color called Dark Deep. I'm just gonna use it because I wanna play with it some more to just kind of, you know, just play with it some more. So I'm just gonna take this and use it as my all over face powder. All right, and then for my contour, I'm just gonna take my Essence Contouring Duo Palette in the color called 20 Darker Skin and just bronze up my face. I'm just gonna take this shade right here because the other one is gonna be too light for my skin complexion.
All right, so going into blush, I do have the new blush by e.l.f. It's going to be the Luminous Blush in the color called Brilliant Mauve. I did feature this in my drugstore haul as well. I purchased this one and the one called Always Fiery. So I figured I'll just use this one because I haven't used this one yet. Um, here's what the packaging look like. And then here is the blush. I told you guys it's going to be more of like a shimmer blush. So if you don't like shimmer, keep that in mind. Hopefully you can see the true pigment right here. So let's just use this as our blush for today. Y'all need to wash my brushes in the worst way. Like I have a whole uh, bunch of brushes and sponge and like beauty sponges that I need to wash. <laughs> I just don't want to. Ooh, this is cute. It does have like a sheen. Can you, can you guys see that sheen? That's cute. So you almost don't even have to use a highlighter. It's pretty much like a two in one. That is cute. I like that. So it's pretty much like a light flush of color to the face. However, the highlight is going to be more intense than the actual blush color, but I don't mind that at all. That's like a two-in-one. So if you're traveling and you don't want to take like a blush and a highlighter, I honestly would just take this and keep it moving. Like this is really pretty. Alright, so going back into the eyes, I'm going to take my Ruby's eyeshadow palette and I'm going to dive into the color called Fireball, which is going to be this color right here. Just going to take the color called Fireball and just apply it to my bottom lash line. Alright you guys, so I went ahead and I applied the color called Sizzle, it's going to be this really pretty orange color. I did apply it on my bottom lash line as well. And I also did my eyeliner, I used the e.l.f. waterproof gel eyeliner in the color called Black. You guys, so this is holy girl status for me. So I do have a new mascara, it's going to be the Wet n Wild Mega Wear Mascara in the color called Very Black. Hair is the packaging on it it's really cute just gonna take it and apply it to my bottom lashes oh look at that wand that looks perfect for the bottom lashes sorry if you guys can see this down here that's kind of distracting I apologize So going back into the face, I don't think I want to add a highlighter because I like how my skin looks with this blush. And like I said, it already gave me like an actual like highlighted effect to my face. So I don't think I want to go into a actual highlighter, but I'm just going to use it for my nose. I do have the Fenty Beauty Kilowatt in the color called Ginger Binge and Moscow Mule. I figure it'll be a perfect match back to the actual eyeshadow palette. So just going to apply a little bit to my nose. Alright, and then going into the lips, I'm going to take the NYX lip liner in the color called Brown and just line my lips. And I'm gonna take, I have the Hard Candy Glostopia Ultimate Lip Shine. Um, I have it in the color called Bronze Gem. I'm just gonna take and apply it to my lips as my lip color for today. I have a nice, really big doe foot on it. I told you guys when I initially swatched this in my drugstore haul, I didn't really get that much color payoff from it, but it's a gloss, so it's kind of like expected, but. 
and this does have an hyaluronic acid so I thought that was pretty cool for a lip gloss option So it's like a, like a slight, like sheer lip tint to your lips, but that's pretty much it. All right, you guys, this is pretty much going to be the finished completed look, which I actually do enjoy. Um, in terms of the eyeshadow palette, again, it's a really pretty pigmented eyeshadow palette. However, you do get a lot of fallout with this eyeshadow palette. So again, if that bothers you, keep that in mind. I told you guys, it's a lot more fallout to where it's kind of messy, but for the most part, it's super pigmented, easy to blend out, and I had no issues as far as using a product. So I, I personally enjoy it, and the price is only $5, so you can't really beat it for the price. So again, just kind of keep that fallout in mind. I actually enjoyed the Hard Candy Hydrating Face Primer. I love that gel-like consistency with it. It was really easy to blend into the skin. It didn't feel super like sticky and tacky for a long time. I'll have to actually use this with my foundation and just kind of see how long it actually lasts on the face but it does a good job moisturizing the skin and also just it just feels really good on the skin as well so I do enjoy this oh I forgot to set my face let's do that right quickly all right, so the Believe Beauty Makeup Perfecting Setting Spray it actually felt really good on the skin, and I like how it missed out. It missed out really good. It's not like a hard squirt on your face. It didn't leave any like residue on my face either. It does have some kind of like fragranted smell to it. It smells really good, but if you don't care for like a fragrance product, it does smell like fragrance to it, but I like how that mist felt. It felt really good on the face. Um, I love, love, love this e.l.f. Luminous Blush. I did not even use a highlighter on my face. I just did the blush and that's pretty much it. So again, it's pretty much like a two-in-one. You do have your blush and you also have your highlighter in hair as well. So again, it's really pretty on the skin. This is just how it looks with the blush and highlighter kind of like effect that's in here so I actually like this I do have mine in a color called brilliant mauve I do feel like you get more of an actual highlighter effect versus an actual blush color payoff because the actual color payoff is more subtle but I definitely like this for like a two-in-one product if you're traveling you don't want to have like too many makeup products with you traveling somewhere I think it'll be a really good purchase so I did enjoy this one and I actually enjoyed the hard um, candy gloss topia lip gloss it feels really nice on the lips it's not sticky i like the subtle color payoff that you get with it it's nothing that's too crazy and it's not glittery it don't feel chunky even though there's shimmer in here it doesn't do those things and it looks really pretty paired with the brown lip liner so i think as a combination duo it looks really pretty together and it does have an hyaluronic acid which of course you guys know i personally like the only two products I didn't really care for is going to be um, the Wet n Wild uh, Mascara. I don't know if mine is like an old one because again, um, sometimes mascaras can like dry out over time. But I do like the brush on it, but I have to make sure that mine isn't old because I'm used to mascaras being kind of like wet. This one isn't really wet like that, so it's just kind of different for me. So um, maybe it's just supposed to be that way, but I did like how it lengthened my uh, my lower lashes. But I don't. I think it's. I think it might be old because it doesn't feel wet like I'm used to. And I didn't really. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this Becca Hydra Mist Set and Refresh Powder. Like it looks kind of white under my eyes. Maybe it's just me, but it looks really like white under my eyes and it didn't really like blur or do anything like that. That was like, you know, it just kind of like set under my eyes and that's pretty much it. I don't know. I'll continue to put this product some more, but as of right now, these two products are not really like head over heels about. But yeah, you guys, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Oh, the eyeshadow primer was good. It it worked really good. So I like, I did like this product, but Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you do, be sure to give it two thumbs up. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.